Hey you cunts, welcome back to, well you know, whatever this is. Today I'm going through my rendition of the always delicious Bon Mi sandwich. After this video I hope YouTube doesn't ban me. I say it's my rendition because there's no clear way to make this sandwich. It's really just a fucking sandwich in Vietnam. Bon Mi may be the best thing to come out of French colonialism. What happened to the French by the way? They used to charge into battle dick first and fuck other countries from the inside out. Now they're just sitting around with cigarette holders and soft skin looking for handouts. Is it like what's happening in the US? Turning into a bunch of pussies because they feel bad? Get to the fucking cooking, dipshit. Here we have the finest, freshest ingredients that plastic can wrap. Grabbing myself a pork tinned erloin. Figured that'd be good. Deep baguettes, cilantro, fucking matchstick carrots to light this shit up. And you middle-aged ladies, know what this is all about. When your husband ain't home on a Thursday night, have yourself a party with one of these babies. Of course, I have some other spices and sauces to throw in there. I'll, I'll show you later. This may be sacrilege to some of you porky cunts out there, but I am going to chop up this pork tenderloin and throw it into my pan because I'm a nuanced cunt. Good punk band name, nuanced cunt. For your run-of-the-mill shit, just oil and heat and all that good stuff it takes to cook some food. We go with the pork. As usual, I'm kind of winging it, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, we're getting that grayish color. It's not pretty, but probably be pretty good. Like I've done in other videos, I'm gonna take this and let it cook all the way through, let the juices come out of it, and then let it coat the outside. That's where I'll be putting my sauces and seasonings and shit. So the fat's coming out. I'm taking the opportunity to grab some salt, some pepper, African American pepper, and I want to turn up the heat on this shit. So I'm I'm gonna add a little bit of cayenne. Not a not too much, but I mean, I kind of like it when I'm eating a bon mi and I'm almost at the verge of absolute agony but it's so delicious i keep going okay so this part's is very important so keep an eye on this you want to pay attention okay see how that fat is kind of dissipating and coating it a little bit so i'm taking some of this it's uh i'm not going to be using too much because i don't want it to get too sweet but uh this will add a nice little flavor to the whole operation. If you don't have hoisin or you haven't had it, then uh, I highly suggest you add it to your repertoire. It wouldn't be Asian cuisine without some fucking fish sauce. I'm gonna dump a little of that shit on there. Mm, 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 mm. How you like that? And of course for the, uh, for the heat, good old sriracha, cock sauce. The Srarucha. Turn that shit about, maybe turn the heat down a little bit. So we don't burn it. Sorry if it's loud. <laughs> Fuck. <coughs> there we get that nice coating. That's the fucking tits, my friends. Well, you can let it like this, or you can go a little longer and get it more dark like this guy here. It's up to you. The world is your oyster box. Turn the heat off of that meat. I'm just going to let it sit there, hang out, make them sexy noises. Cut off about half of this poor lady dildo. I'm going to sit here and cut it into thinnest slices you can manage. Maybe not super thin, maybe thick if you like it, but I like it kind of thin. Okay, you can. Going to set you up with that vinegar hitter. What the fuck I'm doing? Going to throw them in there. Toss them around a little bit, like a goddamn cucumber salad on a bun. Probably should have got a bigger bowl. Oh well. Figured it out, making do. I was supposed to use pickled carrots, but you know, who the fuck's got time for that shit? Ain't nobody sells them. So, uh, you're fucked. Unless you want to sit there for a week and make some goddamn pickled carrots for one sandwich. Fuck that. And what's a bon me without a couple of French loafers? A couple of beauties, especially if you don't eat bread very much. 
Whew, god damn. That's an orgasm in my fucking sinuses, bro. Now I got these bad boys all set up. Show you a special trick. Grab yourself some salted butter, okay? No, we're not gonna toast these buns. We're gonna leave them nice and soft so your bitch ass can chew through them. What we're gonna do with these is, boop, put them in the microwave for a little bit, okay? I'm just softening these little guys. I'm not fucking melting them all the way. Now what I'm gonna do is get that fucking beauty. That mayo, bro. Dab that shit in there. You might work on your ratio, we'll see. Um, but we're just gonna cream them together. Like a special fucking dairy products party, bro. It's like an orgy of flavor. Look at that art. You got a little bit before you're gonna eat, you can put these in the, put this shit in the fridge and, yeah. You ain't shit if you don't get those pockets of fucking mayo in there. Well, that's what I'm talking about, bitch. By the way, the idea for making a banh mi sandwich came from my buddy Adrian. Go follow him on Instagram if you like a mountain adventurer who looks like a terrorist. The rest is pretty straightforward unless you're a real dumb cunt, which I know some of you are. Just gonna take it, load them up with this fucking pork, you porky, porky bitch. And of course, we're just gonna tear off some of this fresh cilantro. There's one thing I know about Vietnamese. They love that spicy countered with that kind of cold, cool, sweet, hot. They just, ah. There's a, that, the very distinct flavor with the Vietnamese that is just fucking awesome. Not that I'm doing it any justice. I guess what them homeboys do is just throw a little bit of fucking soy sauce on there. Just a little bit. Uh, be careful. Oh, careful. Oh, yeah. There we go. Well, that's how you fucking do it, bitch. Bye. There you have it, you cunts. A little sandwich made by little people in a little country. When you're talking about all the food choices that come out of Vietnam, those motherfuckers know what's going on. So salute to the Namers out there. Don't forget to hit that like button, you mangy mutts. It helps my video go up in the rankings and make people see it more. If you don't want people to see it more, go fuck yourself. If you're new to this channel, how you doing? Hit that subscribe button if you like me. That would make one of us. Have a great fucking day. Get your bitches out of the kitchen. I'll see you in the next one.